Hi, this is B from Sorcery Soap, and I wanted to show you something different today just because it's fun and because I needed a break from doing some other stuff. Anyway, um, I got all these awesome micas from Nurture Soap Supply. And the thing about, for me, what I've discovered is that when I keep them in the bags, which is a great and economical way to test a mica that you're not so sure you're going to keep all the time and you want on your shelf, is to, you know, get it in the bag because that ships a lot faster and it's just, you know, it's more cumbersome to ship a, a jar, but also to help recycle so that we don't have to, I don't have to keep buying jars every single time and then throwing those same jars away. Um, I have my own jars and I wanted to show you what that looks like. <clears throat> I know other people do it and I was kind of torn whether I wanted to do it or not, but here's what I've discovered is that um, when I can see the color, I'm much more likely to use it. But when I have to go through my little bags of stuff, I'm a lot less likely to use it because, you know, it's messy. So I just do one messy time and then get it over with. So these, um, let's see, we're going to do the Adamant Olive, the Adamant Olive Mica. So there we go. because they're pretty much the only mica supplier and colorant supplier that I use these days. It's just that they have such consistent colors and they ship really fast. I don't have to wait. So that's super helpful. Anyway, let's do this. This is Cyber Grape Mica. <laughs> This, oh, by the way, favorite color, favorite color. And I just got another color similar to it called Cabaret. Not quite the same. Not quite the same. But in the bags, they look very similar, see? So that's what I was saying is if you put them in the containers and they're sitting on the shelf, you could see the different tones of it. And for me anyway, that's really helpful. I thought it was quite the indulgence to buy, you know, these little containers so that I could be better organized when, you know, I'm always trying to save money and put it towards creative endeavors. And so it was a big deal for me. I've gotten a lot of comments lately on my blog posts, which makes me really happy. It makes me happy that people actually read. That's awesome. I know I forget sometimes. I just like ask a question and forget that other people are super busy. And anyway, so I got a lot of great comments on there. Sorry, super obnoxious, I know. Um, and it seems like that there's a host of thinking people in the world. Okay, let me back that up. Not a host, there's a group. There's some thinking people in the world. And that somehow, I wanna say makes me hopeful, but I think <clears throat> too much hope is detriment, it's like a poison. It makes me not see the world as it is, because I constantly hope it'll get better. But I think that there's a, more of a reality to that than I have to put hope. It makes me happy for sure. Mm, I allow it to make me happy, put it that way. God, the corrections today. Yeah, I'm in that space. Just trying to, you know, I started this new um, process and trying to be more aware of myself for sure. 
and also be authentic and comfortable in my own skin, which I've always been, you know, to some greater or lesser degree, but there's all this stuff about you don't want to step on anybody's toes and you don't want to be politically incorrect and you don't want to do this and all that. And there's just, I think manners and decorum are one thing. And I'm, if nothing, I strive to be mannerly and I strive not to hurt anybody else's feelings on purpose. But that has to be counterbalanced with listening to my own authority. So I'm going off on a tangent. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. There's that. This is such an awesome color. I didn't even realize how awesome this color was until I put it in the jar. I mean, just like, oh my gosh, this is great mica. So I got a, a Cabernet, I think, or a wine fragrance oil. I am going to put that in here, leaving that right here. So let's do one more. Sugar and spice, woo, that's awesome, okay. That color is amazing. Okay, well, that's all we're gonna do today. I'm gonna do some more by myself, but I just thought I'd show you what was going on and how I'm trying to make my day a little bit more fun. So I hope you have a great day and like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you found better ways to do this. And uh, how? tell me how you store your micas. Is, is this inspiring to you when you go through and you have like a file folder or do you like seeing them on your shelf? Okay, thanks again, bye.